Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM. I think this was a supply ship, wasn't it? It's, it's a different day for me. I have about, I don't know, maybe one hour to play. Uh, oh, no! Don't shoot into the Sky Ranger. This is dangerous stuff. Please tell me I didn't forget the mad kids. Now we have mad kids. There we go. Um, this might be in vain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. Damn it, I knew it. <laughs> I should just play the aggressive route. Let's kill this guy first. Now the accuracy is affected by the fact I now have a med kit in hand. So, oh, 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 no. Yeah, this is not the best start. And also people have asked me to um <coughs> start using smoke grenades to cover the exit out of a sky ranger. Oh look at that. In this particular case I think we're quite unlucky that there are a lot of aliens facing our general direction. Not helping our exit. Yes. Very done, Captain K. Very well done. Now to get rid of the last bugger. Alright. Yeah, this was a supply ship, wasn't it? We're cleaning up the desert? Yeah, that was it. That's what we're doing. I remember. My brain is slowly getting into gear. Well, as far as it's able. I do uh, get used to this um, like large wide view of the map quite quickly. So I think we'll leave it like this for a bit, unless uh, people complain about it. A bit more modern look, I suppose. There it is. Uh, let's start reserving some time units. I guess we're kind of lucky that it's float. As if it was sectoids, it would be harder because it's a leader. Then again, getting a live leader. Oh wow. <coughs> that would be awesome. My throat is not woken up yet. Run, my pretties, run. Here we go. I like how LP landed us right next to the UFO and the first thing we do is just charge. You might as well park this right next to the entrance here. I think the Sky Ranger can lift off and land um, vertically. All of you are needed, guys. No doubt people will drop dead as soon as you enter the UFO. So everybody needs to push up. Lots of squaddies. Wow. Hey. Good scouting, J man. So what we call aggressive scouting. As soon as you see something, shoot it. Until it dies. Oh, 
Oh, wait, this is not handy. Get out of there. At this point in time, I'm being a bit quiet, but it's because I just woke up. At this point in time, uh, I've only uploaded... Oh! Oh! How... Did that happen? Is there like a hole in the roof? Alright. So I didn't get much feedback yet, that's what, what I was gonna say. Uh, but I hope it's alright, the quality is fine. I checked the sound on the videos. I think this way, um, and I'm rendering them now, uh, should be pretty good. Let's see how that works out. Maybe there's a float that just on top of the UFO. These things can fly after all, but I suspect he just shot me through the wall. As aliens sometimes do. The laws of physics do not apply to these aliens. That's how they travel faster than light. This is ideal for an alien grenade, I realize that. Put that thing back, please. Is there anybody left behind? No. Good luck guys, we have entered the UFO, this is our first uh, supply ship that we're tackling. And it's always a big prize, because there's 150 lyrium in it if it was intact. It's not, we shut this thing down. Uh, there's also lots and lots of aliens. Now I do remember in the original version, aliens cannot fire downwards through these elevator shafts. And I was warned that in Open XCOM they can. Everything should be inside the ship now, as long as we guard the uh, entrances with a couple. And they should not be able to sneak up on our backs. Mm, yeah. So if you guys enter as well. Now this is where it gets dangerous. Oh, what's going on? Ah, that's exactly what I was talking about. So indeed, they can fire downwards. It's official. <coughs> Sorry, they just stepped up my point. Yeah, reserving time units is all well and good. But wow, my voice is really broken. It's not like I partied that hard last night. You guys can stay put just to guard the, uh, the exits. And of course, the perpetrator has buggered off. <laughs> there you are. Nice! Kill the other one too! Nice! No! Shit. Good way to go out, old dragon. Very nicely done. Can we shoot around the corner, please? Yes. Not bad at all. Just in case there's something wandering around here. There's lots of alien allies in this thing. Oh, no! Ah, shit. Left flank is crumbling. We need reinforcements there. Uh. 
shit, I just shot the door. Get back here, we need people. We need more people. Converge on the left flank. It is needed. In the meantime, strike a team here. And try and hunt for the leader. Demoralize them. Oops. <coughs> we might need to replace you in a second. Alright, not the best placement of men, no, it was not. At least that guy's out of time units now. Holy shit, this is going badly. Don't panic, there's no reason to panic, we just... Everybody's just dying. Uh, this is not ideal. This is uh, far from ideal. Corner of death, yeah, park yourself there. On top of the big stack of corpses that's over there. You're needed, Jay man, I almost forgot you existed. And I'm so tempted to just shoot through Louise. Ten bravery, yeah, Louise, I'm terribly sorry about this. But uh, you're in the way. You're in the way of progress. There you go. Now I feel safe again. Another one. Jeez. These corners never used to be so busy. This is... yeah. Pretty horrible shooting. I'm pretty sure if I'd taken another step there, he would have just fired on me, so I had to take my shots. Okay, this looks to be cleared. But you're never too sure. <coughs> the aliens can hide behind all kinds of crap. And I'm worried about this flank here. Kiko is in a bad spot. J-Man's coming up, but there's still a leader here, no doubt. And he can fire around this corner just fine. So, uh, Kiko, Kiki. Uh, do I dare risk it? Let's be sneaky. You can still react, right? Yeah, you can even... Uh, do a pretty uh, accurate shot there. I suspect that this level is clear. Which is good news because uh, the other flank has crumbled to dust. MC, get over there. Help out poor J-Man here. Another Houdini alien, damn it. Let's just have you stay put there. Mm, I think we're gonna need some reinforcements still up top. Still want some people at the back of the other guys there, so. Handy Andy will scout out the remainder of this hopefully empty deck. Yeah, it's empty. Alright. Hmm. Did he really go back to his uh, little uh, operating room there? Could 
Could be. Could also that we missed him here and that he's now behind us somehow. But I doubt it. I want more time units when I go around the corners. <coughs> oh! Hey! Oh no! No! Yes! We survived it! Excellent! And we reacted! That was beautiful. I don't know how we survived that. Probably because of the same bloody thing that happened to us earlier with Kiki. Shooting one corner repeatedly. Ten guys down! But lots of crap and goodies and points and... and I'm not going to say it was worth it, because it was not, and it was horrible gameplay on my side, but uh, we'll make a profit out of this. Hmm. This is a bit of a sad state of affairs, isn't it? I don't think we can risk sending these guys to clean out these other UFOs, even though they're small ones. It should be relatively easy missions, but oh, you've seen me play. We got what six guys? Ah, that's not enough. Somebody said I could hold down uh, control, and people will immediately go, "Yeah, look at that! Beautiful, handy tip. Thank you." Yeah, we should probably just leave those um, be and wait for the 22 new guys that are going to arrive. We also have some coming in 42 hours. It's still a long way away. It's like <coughs> two days without any men. It's quite problematic. Hmm. Should I risk it? I kind of want to just try and play at least one of these. Now let's see if they're still around in two days. Uh, it doesn't really say where it's where it is. So I don't know which interceptor to send out, which one is closest. It's no biggie though. Fuel is free. Alright. More people. Let's see, I can do this on screen I think for a change. Let's fire up my other screen. Where did I leave off with the soldier naming? This might be a bit tedious because I do have to uh, do the administration on the other screen while I do this. We've got... Lingzu. Come on. The second. Then there is... UFO Schnick. Is that how you pronounce it? We have five aces. A familiar face around here. Then there is Vice Commando. Commando. We also have Kosiku the second. And we have Tomei 25 the second. Then there is this fellow named Vernon Roche the second. Closely followed by uh, Philippe uh, Gojira the second. Philippe one, Gojira, sorry. Carambal went come back. And we also have Shroom the second. And that's all, because <coughs> Smuddle was already one of us. Let's load you guys up on the Sky Ranger quickly. LP is ready for takeoff. Ah, oh, this is putting you all the way down the list, I see, not just at the bottom of the Sky Ranger. I might be just send up some rookies then. Is that the easiest way? Yeah, it's actually pretty quick this way. There we go. Ah, the crash sites are gone, but at least we now have people to work with, so... Should not be that bad. Uh, hang on, I need to type in something on my other screen and then I'm good, good to go. I'm not gonna pause the recording, it will just make me... Uh there we go. 
It'll make me have to add his videos and stuff, and it's boring. There we go. Not a small one. Once again, over Europe, I think they're looking for my base, and these are retaliating UFOs. Probably not too happy with everything I shut down. Come to think of it, I should patrol here and see if I can. Not really. There should be a base. No, I don't know what they went uh, about to do there. Oh wow, lots of soldiers now. Lots of. So I think I will call it a video <coughs> and name these gentlemen off-screen. Do my administration, make sure everything's in order. Otherwise, I'll start messing things up. But we might have three of you running around at some point. Yeah, I'll name these people, and I will see you guys tomorrow when we play some more XCOM. And hopefully, I'll be a bit more awake by then. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.